Today in this video, we will learn about how to configure automation settings in WHMCS. In order to configure automation settings, go to setup section inside settings and then go to automation settings. Since it is an administrative area, just confirm your password. Now, inside automation settings, configure various details like cron command and other automated module functions. You need to copy this cron command from here and then set a cron job. In order to set a cron job, log into cPanel and then go to cron jobs. Now here you can add that cron command and set the frequency for once in a day. You can also enable suspension, send suspension email, enable unsuspension and various other details which are essential for automatic suspensions and unsuspensions on payments. You should not enable termination if you are using WHMCS for the first time because this option is destructive. If an invoice becomes overdue your cPanel account of a customer will be terminated after these many days. Therefore, this may create a data loss. Similarly, you can also configure your billing settings related to invoice generation, invoice unpaid reminders and other reminder related settings. You can also configure credit card charging settings. This will help you to charge the credit card according to your desired settings. Retry every week is a setting which will help you the credit card to retry the payment again after the specified number of days. From here, you can also configure your currency auto update settings. This will help you to take multiple currencies and also its automatic updation. Domain reminder settings helps you to remind the domain expiry notification to the client. These are the values which you can set for the first, second and third reminders respectively. Similarly, you can also set your support ticket settings. You can configure close inactive tickets for 48 hours so that your ticket gets closed due to inactivity. In the same way, you can also set miscellaneous settings as per your choice. Once you are done with all of the settings, you can click on save changes.